Gentlemen, welcome to the recap of Explosive Pro Wrestling's Hell or High Water 2015. As history has shown, it is one of the most dangerous nights on the EPW calendar. And this night certainly didn't disappoint. We kick things off with an EPW tag team title matchup. With a team of Cowboys and Indians defended their newly won tag team titles up against the team of Dan Moore and Jared Slate. From Sydney, the team of the Hive, and from Melbourne, it was Emmanuel and JXT. Let's take a look. Thanks to the inadvertent assist by Dan Moore, Billy Williams got the pin and Cowboys and Indians retained their tag team titles. It was then time for a semi-finals matchup for the EPW Invitational Tournament 2015. It's the longest running tournament in all of Australian wrestling and we saw Tyler Jacobs up against Mr. AK-47 Alex Kingston. <laughs> Eventually, the Solutions, Warship and Amity Roy made their presence felt and Tyler Jacobs took the advantage, got the win and he will advance to the 2015 Invitational Tournament. We then saw Scotty Ryan unannounced make his way to the ring and well, he had a bit of a complaint. He claims that he was screwed and screwed well by Explosive Pro Wrestling. He wanted another shot in the Invitational Tournament. He wanted another shot at Husey even though he's been defeated twice already in the tournament. Well, Husey accepted the match, they had their match, and it was over and done with pretty damn quickly. Husey got the victory, and he continues to proceed in the 2015 Invitational Tournament. It was then time for a no-DQ grudge match we'd all been waiting for since Evolution. It was Marcus Pitt up against his former tag team partner, Jonah Rock. Let's take a look. <laughs> It was then time for the final matchup in the Rising Star Cup 2015, where we saw Taylor King up against Jordan Bishop, up against Liam Mendel, and then Shane Hayes came out, and he announced he has a new protege. Goes by the name of Logan Gray. These four rookies put on a hell of a match. Let's take a look. <laughs> And with a massive shooting star press, Logan Gray in his very first matchup is the 2015 Rising Star Cup winner. Then we saw a massive grudge match. It was a few months ago that Generation Zero cost McMassive their tag team championships. So they went at it at Hell or High Water. Hardcore rules matchup. McMassive made their way to the ring. Generation Zero did not wait one bit. This was on before the bell rang. Hellacious match including all sorts of weaponry, McMassive got the victory. Generation Zero not too happy about it. Hayden Zenner didn't like going through a table. They viciously attacked McMassive, including chair attacks on Gavin McGavin. They even went as far as tasering Mike Massive. This ended with both members of McMassive getting stretched out of the arena and sent to the hospital. At the moment, we have no updates as to their well-being, but stay tuned to epwperth.com and our Facebook page for more updates on the well-being of McMassive. 
Before it was our main event, the fairest of them all, Michelle K. Hasluck, made her way to the ring, bringing along with her Elliot Forbes, who she told everyone is now her Prince Charming. She then went on to tell everyone in the arena that she's the best women's wrestler in all of Australia, and there wouldn't be an EPW women's division without her. She then went on a massive tirade, preaching of all her credentials until finally Blair Brady interrupted. She'd heard just about enough, and then she went on to attack Elliot Forbes. Looks like we haven't heard the last from Blair Brady and Michelle K. Hasluck. Now if you cast your minds back to State of Origin, it was Chris Vice who got the pinfall victory over the EPW champion Damian Slater to win for Team WA. So your Hell or High Water main event was Chris Vice getting a shot at the EPW Championship against Damian Slater. Here's how it went down. Nice. All throughout this hard fought matchup, Damian Slater could not get the job done and he tried to get himself disqualified whenever he could. Referee Matt Smarkson was not having this at all, which eventually led to Damian Slater kicking Matt Smarkson in the back of the head. With the referee down, the Solutions Amity Rowe and the Warship came into the ring and attacked Chris Vice. Then Damien Slater went to make the pin. Senior referee Giles O'Brien came into the ring to make the count and Chris Vice kicked out. He was not done yet. He hit the Tombstone pile driver. Although when he went for the pin, the Solution dragged Giles O'Brien out of the ring. With the distraction on the outside by the solution, out of nowhere, AZ Vergara returned to Explosive Pro Wrestling, hit Chris Vice with the EPW Championship, and this allowed Damien Slater to get the win and retain the Explosive Pro Wrestling Championship. With the match all said and done, it was then revealed that AZ Vergara is now a new member of the solution. Then all three of the solution members took it upon themselves to beat down Chris Vice. Alex Kingston had just about seen enough. He came down to the aid of Chris Vice. The solution wanted no part of that. They got the hell out of there. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another great EPW show for 2015 is in the history books. You can next see us live in the month of October where we have two massive shows for you. We'll be at the Game Sports Bar, an over-18 show on October 2nd. And then we'll be back at Body Slam Central, Cyril Jackson Rec Center, the 10th of October for EPW's Road to Glory. The main event of that will be the Road to Glory Rumble, where we will see a bunch of EPW wrestlers go at it to be the number one contender for the Explosive Pro Wrestling Championship. So until October, stay tuned to EPWPerth.com, stay tuned to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, and of course you don't need to lose out on any EPW action, because Evolution 2015 will shortly be available on our Vimeo channel. My name's Dean Olsen, I'm the voice of Explosive Pro Wrestling, thank you for joining us.